Welcome to the Clover tutorial of the Web Dashboard Interface. The Web Dashboard is designed for Clover administrators to perform daily business management activities. Because Clover is cloud-based, changes made in the dashboard will reflect on the station in real time, and changes made in your store or restaurant on the station devices will reflect in your Web Dashboard also in real time, allowing Clover administrators to benefit from remote access. When you receive your Clover activation email, there'll be a link to create your web dashboard username and password. Then, at any time, you can access your web dashboard by going to www.clover.com on your internet browser and clicking Merchant Sign-In. After logging in, you'll see the Clover home screen. You may notice that this updated dashboard is designed with icons rather than tabs to mirror the Clover home screen of your Clover station for easiest navigation between devices. First, let's look to the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Here you'll see your name, your business name, and the option to log out. As we move down the screen to the left, you'll see a drop-down option to show you all apps or web apps. All apps will display every app you have downloaded, but will gray out those that can only be used on the station device, such as the register app. Web apps, which is the default view, will display the apps you have downloaded that can be used in the dashboard. When you click on an app, it will open a new browser window so that you may easily toggle between multiple apps and activities. Please note that third-party apps, such as NoshList or Homebase, may require separate login credentials. You'll also see that on the right side of the home screen, there is a box called More Apps. Here, Clover will display a few apps that you haven't downloaded yet, but that you may find useful. Please keep in mind that not all apps are here. For a comprehensive list of all apps, please click on the Apps icon. On the App Market screen, you may click on Billing. On this page, you can store your credit card on file. It would only be charged if you download third-party apps and agree to the terms of pricing. Other activities that you may want to perform from the Clover home screen include running daily reports, changing prices on inventory, edit employee permissions, or change general setup, like adding a new payment type, assigning a kitchen printer, or configuring receipt details. For more detailed tutorials on expanded web dashboard activity, please check back to help dot clover dot com